Hello and welcome back to the channel. Recently, Nordstrom's stock has taken a massive dive. The stock is lower than its lows in March, where a lot of stocks had bottomed and rallied. Currently, the stock is back to its 2008 price range around the $11 to $13 price. So, is it worth taking a look at Nordstrom as a company to invest into or maybe a stock to trade? For those that are unfamiliar with Nordstrom, it's a luxury department store chain that's over 100 years old, run by multiple generations of the Nordstrom family. The company was started by John Nordstrom in 1901 as a shoe store. Over time, it grew to be the largest independent shoe store chain in the United States. By the 1960s, the company had diversified from shoes into women's clothing and had achieved success within that field. By 1971, the third generation of the Nordstroms decided to list the company on the stock market under the ticker JWN and diversify into the Nordstrom Rack brand, which is a brand that's got some extremely loyal followers. This brand has a lot of history and has been able to survive through wars, through depressions, and do well by the Nordstrom family and its shareholders. So why exactly has the stock fallen more than 25% in the last month back in September? Well, a couple of reasons for this. In Q2 earnings, the company reported an EPS loss and miss analyst estimates. Even revenues were down around 54% year over year, but one of the main reasons why the Q2 earnings were so bad for Nordstrom was actually deliberate. They normally have their anniversary sale in July, but this year they decided to push it to August so it could coincide with a lot more stores being open. A lot of the Nordstrom stores has stopped operating for some time to comply with the stay-at-home orders and the quarantine measures that were in place. This negative earnings had caused many to be overly pessimistic on the stock. Short interest in the stock has spiked up to 40% now. And now, due to the high level of insider ownership and ownership by passively managed funds, we could see a short squeeze in Nordstrom stock price around November. An increased demand from their online channels, along with better expected revenues from the anniversary sale, could possibly beat estimates and get the stock to rally much higher within the next few months. Now, analyzing the company from the perspective of a long-term shareholder isn't worth it for me since I feel like beyond the competitive environment and the future of retail, the biggest risk long-term shareholder faces with Nordstrom as an investment is the possibility of the Nordstrom family actually taking the company private. Back in 2018, the company had tried to take the company private with a cash offer at a valuation of roughly $8.4 billion, which you know translated to a premium at that point of around $50 per share. At the time, the board rejected the offer, stating that the price offered was far too low. Now to add some perspective to this, the current market cap of the entire company today is at around $2 billion. The Nordstrom family understands that to survive for the next 100 years, their namesake business would require a long-term approach to At current prices, I won't be surprised to hear an announcement about the family trying to take the business private again. It's in their best interest and also the best long-term interest of the company. At its current valuation, Nordstrom is more likely to go up 50% than down 50%. Due to the anniversary sales and the short squeeze, the company has plans to reduce its inventory, reduce capex, reduce its overhead expenses, and increase their cash savings. If they're able to prove that in the Q3 earnings, there will be further positive momentum built up in the stock price. Also, as we go into Q4, we may see stronger retail sales due to the holiday season. Now, as a trade opportunity, it's good, it's not great. If you were looking for a short squeeze, there are definitely better opportunities than Nordstrom. If you're looking for, say, a turnaround, there are again better opportunities. Saying that, I am slightly bullish on Nordstrom's prospects in the next three month time horizon, but I definitely would not be comfortable holding it as a long term compound. Nothing to do with the fundamentals, but mainly because of the possibility that the company might be taken private. In fact, I actually do own some shares of Nordstrom stock in my eToro portfolio. If you're interested to see what I currently hold in my portfolio, there's a link in the description below, and that should show you my entire portfolio on eToro. Have you been following Nordstrom stock? Is it a company that you see doing well in the long term? I would like to get some different perspectives about this company in the comments below. If you've got some, let me know. 
and uh, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.